The discovery that I've chosen arose from the collective efforts of several lab members and it turned an esoteric study of how frog eggs make DNA into a new diagnostic test for cancer. We developed it jointly with colleagues from the Department of Pathology. We wanted to know how cells make exactly two copies of DNA in spite of starting at 100,000 different sites along their DNA. We proposed a theory and we found proteins that behaved the way we predicted. They're called MCM proteins and we now know that they unwind the two strands of DNA as illustrated by this tie. We found that MCM proteins are present in cells that are dividing or preparing to divide, but missing from mature non-dividing cells. The exceptions are cancerous or precancerous cells. These cells retain MCMs even when they reach the tissue surface and are shed into body fluids. For example, we found that normal cells in cervical smears lack MCMs. You see them as red cells here. But malignant or pre-malignant cells stain brightly with antibodies raised against MCM proteins, as seen by the green and yellow cells in this micrograph. This makes cervical smears much easier to read accurately. Instead of looking for rare abnormal cells by subtle differences of shape, we can now look for cells that are a different colour. The frogs on this tea towel are subtly different shapes, but the one that's a different colour stands out. These discoveries have led to a new reagent that's been introduced in 16 countries to improve the reliability of cancer diagnosis and screening. And we believe it has the potential to save many lives by helping to detect cancer earlier while it can still be treated most effectively.